Repeat after me. I have no talent. I have no talent. <laughs> like and sub in the next five seconds or you also will have no talent. I would not risk it. <laughs> Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Chad DF, back out with another bang, guys. Today, this is hands down the best video that I've made on my channel for helping other people. You are going to want to watch this whole video through because I promise by the time you're done with this, you're going to be a 10 times better shooter. And you guys can take it from me. I know you guys have seen me play my offensive threat, my two-way session playmaker, every single build I have I can shoot on. And that's no mistake. It's because I'm a good shooter and I can help you guys out if you guys watch this whole video through. Trust me, and before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like and sub button because we are on our way to 12k and you guys have been going crazy recently. So smash the like button, smash that sub button, and turn on post notification. I'd appreciate it so much. And DF's only going up, man. So let's, like I said, let's get right into it. And trust me, these are definitely going to help you. Now, the first things first, guys, I'm going to tell you tips how to shoot better, my jump shots for both, all quick draws, and my badge that I use on every single player I own. This is definitely going to be a video that's going to help. So we're going to start with the badges. And obviously, I have legend badges, so I'm going to take off 10 badges because I'm going to act like if I was one of you guys. So I definitely don't need any of this. If I had 22 badges, like a regular offensive threat, this is what I would run. And so forget difficult shots, the five mandatory badges you guys need are these five right here it's hands down the best five badges in the game you don't want to pick any other badge over them unless your play style calls for it the only way you shouldn't hot zone hunters i have amazing badge but the only way you should not be get, turning it on is if you don't have hot zones so how you check if you have hot zones you're going to go to stats my minutes chad b and hot zones hit x for park and as you guys see i have hot zones almost everywhere so hot zone hunter is an amazing amazing badge for me it opens up the green window so much so much more and you guys are going to get helped a lot if you have it too but like i said if you don't have hot zones it's really not going to help you that much so you don't really need it so i take off these 10 again oh my god and now the next badge that i'm talking talk about obviously quick draw is a must range is a must the next badge i'm talking about and dead is a must too next badge is green machine green machine really is good if you can green shots if you aren't very good i would say green machine not silver but if you are like play this game line you can green most of your shots green machine hall of fame is a great great badge because you green one shot and your next shot gets a higher boost if you're greening that shot you're definitely going to want a green machine if you were a comp player and you can green most of your shots so these are the badges that i run the five that i have hall of fame right now are hands down the best badges for shooting you definitely want these as high as possible but the order if you just made a new player you don't want quick draw first range center second and in my opinion hot zone dead eye and then green machine it's really up to you but these three in my opinion are best but like i said if you don't have hot zones it's not really going to work for you but these are the best badges i would definitely run make sure you guys have these on at all times as high as possible so now let's get into the jump shots and then we're going to get into the tips let's go all right y'all so now that we're in the micro i'm going to go over the jump shots the jump shots that you should be putting on on your player so you can shoot as best as possible so now i guess I have used multiple players and multiple quick draws and I hands down have the best jump shot for each quick draw. So as you guys saw, I have Hall of Fame quick draw on this player. And hands down the best jump shot for this quick draw is, um, you guys are going to see jump shot 98 in 3 seconds. 98. I've used 98 all year in this jump shot or this player. Quick draw Hall of Fame. Trust me. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I also, I also suggest Steph Curry pull ups. It's a good pull up. But that's beside the point. Jump shot 98 for Hall of Fame quick draw. But you guys have also seen me play on my two-way slashing playmaker who uses gold quick draw. If you use any player that has gold or lower quick draw, hands down use jump shot 38. I don't have it bought on this player, obviously, because I'm not. I don't have gold quick draw. So definitely use 38 for gold quick draw or lower and 98 for Hall of Fame quick draw or higher. So now let's get into the tips, guys. Like I said, you definitely don't want to use those badges and those jump shots. And now we're going to get into the tips. So the first things first. There's two things in the settings that's going to make you a 10 times better shooter. And you're, to find this, you're going to go to settings, controller settings. And they're both, they're actually the top two. One, you need your vibration on. And I know some people say, oh my god, my vibration fucks up, so I can't shoot well because it's inconsistent. But guys, you guys have to realize without vibration, you're not going to be able to know when to release the ball. I can't shoot 
without vibration. I need to feel it to know when to release it. It helps me so much and it just helps my muscle memory in greening more shots. If you have this off, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage and you're not gonna be able to feel when to release it. And I know it's inconsistent, but it helps when it is working. It helps so much. Like I literally can't green a shot without it. So I definitely suggest putting on your vibration. And the second thing is shot meter. I know at this point in the year, you're like, try like what the heck, but I know there's gonna be some of you that still use a shot meter. And even if you guys have tried it and can't really time your shot, I really suggest you keep on trying it and practicing it in your mic court because it really does help you green so much more shots. So with the shot meter you guys see, people get so many more full bars and full whites and it just really sucks. So you definitely be able to shoot better with a shot meter off. And if you get play against better competition, they're gonna be using a shot meter off and you guys don't want that too or they're gonna have a huge advantage over you during the whole fucking game because you guys are using a shot meter and you're not gonna be able to green as much shots as they do. So that's definitely the tips that you're gonna wanna find in the settings and let's get to the next tip. All right man, the next thing I would do to make yourself a better shooter is hands down practice in your mic court. Now people are be like, oh my God, I just shot my meter and I went straight to the park and I can't make a shot. Well, you know why? Cause look, I suck. You know why? Cause you didn't go to the court and practice, especially with no meter. If you are, oh my God, shut up, they're calling me. If you, um, to just turn off your meter and you go straight to the park you're not gonna be able to shoot like of course you're not gonna be able to shoot that that's just not how that works you're not gonna just be amazing right off the bat why am i getting these full bars but that's beside the point you guys have to go to your my court and practice shooting with no meter because you're not going to be good at it right away it takes practice practice makes perfect oh my god what the fuck sorry they're calling me again um practice makes perfect like i said you guys have to like if you actually want to get good at this game guys you guys are going to have to practice all the time shooting in your my court Get used to the jump shot, get used to your vibration, and get used to, oh my god, he just said call me. Get used to things that you're fucking doing, because you're like, if you don't, if you go right to the park, you're going to be delayed right away, and you're not going to be able to shoot to your best of your ability. But the earlier you go to your mic court, bro, and get in the mic court and just shoot consistent all the time with your new jumper, with your, out your bar, you're going to be a 10 times better shooter, trust me. Green, 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 and it's only going to get better from there. Now, tips that I would give you to help you time your jump shot better with no meter is obviously come here first and get used to it and like i said vibration off you have to release it when you feel that vibration that last second vibration is when you should like release the ball is when you should release it because you, you got like obviously i can't show you feeling vibration you have to go to your mic court shoot and like release it when you feel that vibration trust me that's how i do it i really don't even look at anything to green my shots i just feel it and once i feel it i release the shot now you guys are probably newer that's like no shot me than i am so if you have to look at something i would hands down look at your hands at the top of its head so when i'm releasing the ball look at the top of his head in green when his hands like reach like what the fuck am i doing reach like a, like i saw my helmet like right above his helmet that's when you should release the jump shot and like i said it's gonna take practice so you have to keep on doing it in your mic court and you're just gonna get better you're only gonna get better practice makes perfect like i said so you're definitely gonna wanna practice. And like I said, if you don't want vibration, or if you don't use the vibration, just look at your hands, bro. Just trust me, just look at your hands. Now, the last thing I would suggest, this is the last tip of the video. You got, so a lot, a lot of guys, when they white shots, they're just like, oh my God, I missed. Like, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but like, see how it's slightly early? Like, check what it is. Like when you white a shot, if it's slightly early, say late and then adjust, you have to feel what that last shot was. And if it was late, release it earlier, adjust. People really, like my friends, I, I've talked to them about it, they just like miss and they're like, why am I missing? I'm like, well, with a slightly early, slightly late. They're like, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? I don't know. You have to look if it was slightly early and adjust. The game's all about adjusting. I did not mean to do that. The game's all about adjusting. So if you see your shot go slightly early, bro, release it later. If you see it slightly late, release it earlier. You have to feel where you released it, see you released it, and fix it for the next shot. And trust me, that's hands down. Every Everything I just told you in this video is going to help. I promise, I promise, I promise. And now that's really it for the video, guys. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that like and sub button. I'd appreciate it so much. Like I said, we're almost at 12K. So we're not posting notifications. Do what you gotta do. But seriously, guys, I suggest you use all these tips. Use my jump shot. Use the badges because they're hands down the best jump shot and badges in the game. And I hope it's helped you guys. If you guys are new, like I said, like a sub button, I appreciate it a lot. Chad Gang, Chad DF out. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace.